on learning to learn. Learning liberation martial arts, LMA, isn't just about learning new concepts, but unlearning old ones. The challenge isn't learning our approach, it's unlearning coloniality. Old assumptions create a barrier to new knowledge and shackle you to beliefs that do not serve you. Much of the curriculum is meant to defeat old oppressive ideas and replace them with new ideas that serve you better. If you don't unlearn and break free of old oppressive frameworks and beliefs, they will constantly interfere with and override new information. When old information remains unchallenged, it reinforces itself, making it difficult to accept new ideas on their own terms or altogether. Consider memorizing a map of your old environment and constantly referencing it when you're in a new one. For instance, when you move to a new area, your old drive home can interfere with your new one. Your past assumptions can not only be unhelpful, but detrimental. Unlearning doesn't mean completely forgetting. It means making room for something new and understanding it on its own terms. When you're an American in England, your old mental model for driving can cause car accidents. And it does. Because you'll revert to driving on the right side of the road when you're supposed to drive on the left. Unlearning that behavior doesn't mean you forget how to drive in the U.S. It just means learning to drive in England on its own terms rather than thinking it's old wine in a new bottle. We call the art of mapping and navigating wayfinding. It's not about memorizing one map and constantly referring back to it. It's about continuously adapting to new conditions and creating and updating maps. There's a speed to physical activities, which we call game speed. Removing unnecessary, counterproductive, and irrelevant assumptions improves efficiency and hastens decision-making to game speed. Not only are you faster at finding your way, you'll have more energy for your destination. We often use the term explore in our literature to describe the process of navigating new information for deeper understanding, which involves delving into its potential and possibilities. You can't explore a new information space with eyes clouded by old information. Instead, old information seeks self-reinforcement. Memorizing something and knowing abstract and surface level things about it doesn't mean retention. There are lots of things we've memorized, but very few of them we've retained. Swimming and bicycling, things we've explored deeply, we retain. You won't remember all the numbers you've memorized, but you will retain how to dial a number. When older people have problems with new technology, it's not that they can't learn something new, it's that they've been dwelling in old information for so long it's hard to unlearn. When cell phones first appeared, people too used to landlines had a hard time adapting. Likewise, people used to early cell phones and flip phones had difficulty adjusting to smartphones. Learning is easy, but unlearning is hard. Understanding the liberation martial arts approach on its own terms equips you to better adapt to new information. LMA and wayfinding aren't about memorizing an idea, but learning to navigate new ones. By unlearning old beliefs, you free yourself from their control, opening up a new world of possibilities. One final note before we conclude. If you've been incorporating LMA concepts or drawing inspiration from our approach, don't keep it a secret. Sharing your experiences and spreading the word about LMA not only highlights its positive impact, but also helps open doors for grants, funding, and increased participation to sustain this essential work. If you're a training organizer, your acknowledgement of LMA not only supports our mission, 
but also promotes a necessary alternative to mainstream commercial pedagogy. Without visibility, we risk being overlooked and underfunded in a world that prioritizes profit over human flourishing. Without support, LMA will wither away and you'll lose an essential resource. While our approach may seem natural, its ease and playfulness require tremendous effort and time to create, organize, and research. Research alone is nearly a full-time endeavor. Additionally, we must cover the costs of maintaining a physical space and equipment to continue experimenting and growing. LMA is a full-time commitment that demands more time and money than we have, so don't take us for granted. Without your support and participation, LMA cannot continue for long. If you're drawing from LMA in your work, please acknowledge our project. Help us raise awareness and spread the word to ensure LMA's future. Find Liberation Martial Arts at the Southpaw Pod Patreon or at the Liberation Martial Arts Substack.